let's assume there is a VOR DME. Um, let me mark it as VOR DME here. And let's assume there is another VOR DME right here. And let's also assume that this distance is quite far uh, out of the VOR uh, range. So the aircraft cannot fly um, from one VOR to the other directly. It needs some intermediate uh, waypoint or some fix. Let's say there is a VOR uh, here, midway, not midway, somewhere in between, and uh, it could be a VOR DME. Now, in traditional navigation, what the aircraft will need to do is, let's say this is one, this is two, and this is three. The aircraft would go from one to two, it will overfly two, and then it will go from two to three, so that it's always in range of some VOR here, uh, overflying the VOR. Now, this is the traditional navigation. With the advent of area navigation, or one form of area navigation is GPS. So area navigation is point-to-point -point navigation. So using area navigation, I should be able to go from point one here to point three directly. Now using GPS, it's pretty straightforward. That's what we are used to, but GPS is just one form of area navigation. There are other ways to achieve area navigation, and one of those ways is using the VOR DME combination. For VOR DME, what we will do is we will plot a route from one to three directly and we will create a waypoint here in between which is within range of another uh, navigational aid in this case it is within range of two so we will get a fix to this waypoint with the help of the vor dme2 so let's say this is radial 200 right outbound radial and let's say this distance is about 10 nautical miles so our flight plan will consist of VOR DME1 and then 200 radial, 10 nautical miles from VOR2 and then VOR3, right? So this is another way of achieving area navigation. Now let's see how to simulate something like this in four flights. So I'm going to go to the maps tab and I have my GPS turned off. So of course, it's not certified to fly in an aircraft and we will need the VOR DME equipment in the aircraft, but this is for simulation. So when I click the location button, it tells me position is unavailable. So GPS is turned off. Let's pick three VORs here. Let's say the first one that we pick is the Falcon Vortac. And that's this one. And the name is in this box, Falcon FQF. Let's say the second one that was in our example is the Jeffco VOR DME. So the name is in this box here. And uh, this VOR DME is located at Rocky Mountain Metro uh, Airport, BJC. And let's say our number three is Kremlin RLG, which is this VOR DME here. The name is in this box. These are the three VOR DMEs that we have selected, which are similar to what we had on the scratch pad. Number one is FQF and number three is RLG. Now to go from FQF to RLG without flying over BJC, let me clear the annotations. What we'll need to do is plot around something like this. And if we zoom in, this can be our waypoint and it's on this radial at whatever this distance is. Now, how do we find the radial and the DME distance? So if you use two fingers and just hold it down, this ruler comes up on the screen and you can just place it here roughly where we want it to. So you will see this is like 187 and maybe seven nautical miles, right? So I will go to the flight plan. I will enter my VOR DME1, or in this case, it's a Vortac. So that is FQF, Falcon Vortac, space. Four flight created a uh, marker here. And then my waypoint on the flight plan is BJC187 radial and seven nautical miles. So I will just enter it as one word, BJC1877. And the moment I say space, you will see that four flight created this marker roughly where we wanted it. And in the flight plan, it has replaced it with a formatting BJC slash 187 slash 7. So that's that's how you can enter it as well. And the last one on our list is uh, VOR DME number three. That's RLG. So RLG. 
G space and you get this. So I'm going to go clear the annotations. All right. So here is uh, here is a direct point to point path with a waypoint in between that does not fly over a VR DME. So I hope this was useful to you in learning something new. First, I used to think that GPS is the only way of doing area navigation. And then I learned there are actually more ways of doing area navigation and VORDME is one of them. Okay. Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video.